So, hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's almost end of 2020 and I think it's best to make my top 10 house plants for 2020. So, yeah, I had a hard time because I have a lot of plants, probably more or less 150 indoors. I will just be talking about my top 10 house plants. So, this is quite tricky because I love all my plants and choosing the top 10 is quite difficult. So, here it goes. Let's start with top 10. Because I can't decide which one. So I have both my Marble Queen. No. Yep. So I have both my Marble Queen on top 10. And then my Golden Pothos. So I love their variegation. See? So this is the Marble Queen and this is the Golden Pothos. I love their variegation and these plants love me. They don't give me any problem at all and they've just grown a lot. So they are tied <laughs> because I can't decide which one on top 10. And then, top nine is still cascading. It's Philodendron Brazil. So, same, this plant did not give me any problem this year. And it has become lush and beautiful. So, Philodendron Brazil for top nine. And then for top eight is my Monstera. See? This was just small when I bought it. So just for a few months, it has grown like this. So I love it. And like a corner in the house is already. Its presence in the house is already a statement. See, this is quite big. This is already big in just a few months. So, yes, I love my Monstera Delicioso. Very big. And another favorite is on the seventh spot is my raindrop peperomia i've actually placed this in the center of our lounge because i like it i like the structure i like the formation just love it so it's on the seventh spot on my eighth spot eighth spot is my Mykens. This is so beautiful and it has really grown a lot. See, I've already put this pole but now I need a taller pole. So yeah, it's so beautiful. So aside from beauty, as uh, in this selection, aside from the beauty, I've also selected the plants that loves me or that doesn't give me any problem at all. And for where am I? Six. On my top five is the ficus ruby. So as you can see, look at that very pretty foliage. See? 
pinkish, reddish, and it has become tall and it's, it's easy to carry it. So this is my top five. Then moving on to my top four. This is the Ficus Tiniki. So this one, I was looking for this plant for several months. It's always sold out online. Every time it goes live, immediately it's gone. So I have to drive an hour. Like, I, it was heavily raining and I have to drive for an hour just to grab this tiniki. So, see, it's so pretty. I love the variegation. It's wide, just, oh, just so pretty. And it's low maintenance, I think. So, yeah, this is my top four. For top three, this one is more difficult because I love my top three plants and I don't know, actually I'm not sure. Till now I'm having second thoughts which one should be on top one. So, okay, my top three. My top three is my watermelon peperomia. Same as my tiniki, this one has, I've been looking for this plant for a while now. And yeah, this is so nice, so lush, so beautiful. Yeah. So this is my top three. So I really, my top three plants, I actually just put it in our bench top so I can easily see them. So I can easily see if there's something wrong or yeah and then my top two my top two plant is my hoya crimson queen see it's so nice i've even bought a cutting of this one because I had a hard time finding an established plant. So when I saw this, I know I have to get this. It's so pretty. It's so nice. Oh, look at that. That's why it's called the queen. So this is my top two plant for 2020. For my number one plant, well, in order to get my number number one plant, I have to wake up early, drive for an hour, wait in the queue for, I think, one to two hours just to have it. If you're, um, if you have watched my other videos, I think you already know which is my top one plan. Okay, drum roll please. My top one plan is my Monstera Psy Constellation. Look at that variegation. That one, that one. And actually this one is a new leaf. So when I bought this, there were only like three big leaves and then just a matter of, I think a month, it gave me a new leaf. So this Monstera seems to like me and I'm so happy. I include those plants that almost made it to the top 10 please so no this one this is the
pink bubbles. They were so beautiful when I bought it. But then, they've become so leggy. So they are not as beautiful as the last time. But still, a good trim will make them very beautiful again. And another one is this one, the snowdrop cactus. I just, I just love it. Gave me no problems and I just love how it cascades. Third one, a normal mention is the satin pothos. I love them. They are pretty. They are so pretty. Another one is my neon pothos. Look how lovely the color is. It's so nice. Probably if it's lusher, probably it has made it to the top 10, but just it did not make it. And of course, this one. If I had lusher and or bigger Strumante Triostar, definitely this will this plant will be included in my top ten. So yes, that's it guys. Thank you for spending your time with me again and happy new year. More planting for 2021.